Hi everyone, this is Arad from English for Everyone and today in this video I am answering a question made by Mazdaq. He asked, what is by? Why do we use them? This is his sentence. I will be in, a, in much better mood by August. This is his sentence. So why do we say by in this sentence? I will be in much better mood by August. Why do we say by and why don't we say in August? And I have seen by instead of on and at in other places as well. So instead of in, at and on, we use by and why. All right. Okay. Uh, well, by is not like uh, those prepositions. So we say, um, we say, we use in for month, uh, years or decades or we use as for hours and these kind of things but we use by for all of them when we talk about a deadline okay or we are talking about a period just before that time okay so we use by just before the adverb of time in this sentence this is my adverb of time and by appears before this to tell me that when August is there, when it arrives, when it's August's time, okay? Not later than this, okay? So by brings the meaning of just before this or just when it starts or when this is there, when this is the time, okay? But not after that, not later than that. Okay, this will be, this is more clear in this, the other example. This is my example here, of course it is Google's example. It says, I've got to do this report, I, I've got to do this report by Monday. Okay, you go to work, you work on a project and you will have to send a report or something like this. So you have to do the report, you might have to make the report ready and there is a deadline for that. If you if you just make it ready, if you do that on Tuesday, it's late, okay? So you have to have it ready by Monday. When I say by Monday, it means today or tomorrow or someday before that particular, that specific one, okay? So this is the time that this should be ready and any time between now and that day, the report should get ready. So this is the deadline and this is showing that. If I say on Monday, I've got to do the, the, this report on Monday, then report gets done in, the, in this day. When the, the clock ticks and says this is Monday, then I have to do it. But when I say by Monday, means before clocks, clock ticks and says this is Monday, this should be done. Over here, please be there by midday. Okay, if I ask someone to be somewhere by some time, means just a bit earlier than that. Maybe you need to, maybe this is for a concert, maybe this is for a conference, maybe this is for a meeting, something like that. You need to be there a bit earlier to get ready and then do something, maybe. In that case, I use by midday means a bit earlier than that, because uh, at this time, whatever the time is, this conference, this concert, this meeting is going to start. So you have to be there. By midday means a bit earlier than that, okay? To be ready for that time. I usually finish work by five o'clock. Not, uh, not at five, but by five o'clock. When I say by five, means five or a bit earlier than that. It means I would not, I mainly, I usually do not finish work after this time, okay? It means not later than this, okay? So by, in this case, is, is in my sentence to add this to my sentence, okay? Just to say that this is no later than five o'clock, okay? The game, the games, finish by the 16th of August. That's the same thing, August, Monday, midday, five o'clock, or 16th of August. They're all adverbs of time and or the delay 16th of August. By is here to just say that nothing no no game no games after this date. Uh-huh. 
This is the final day, and on 17th of August there is no game. Mm -hmm. This also tells the reader or the hearer or listener that this is the deadline, this is the final day, and this is just before the date comes. Okay, then it says on the calendar and it says it's the 16th, then that is the day to finish, not later than that. Okay. We need to go early, come back by 2 o'clock. Imagine we are planning to go somewhere and a friend needs to go out, do something and come back. So I tell the person we need to go early. So because of that, come back by 2 o'clock. means be here before 2 o'clock. In this case, by is like saying before. Before that time because on two, uh, at 2 o'clock we need to move, we need to go, the minibus goes, <laughs> we, have, we need to be in, okay, the minibus or the bus or the whatever it is. Anyway, by 2018 all the company old cars will be changed. So it is not always at the end of this sentence, sometimes you might have it in the beginning of the sentence, that is also possible, and that is here to emphasize, okay, we might use you might have these in the beginning of the sentence and in that so we can uh, emphasize, put some pressure on it, put some light on the angle of time and that is important to know. When I say by, 18, uh, by 2018 all the company cars will be changed means when it says it is 2018 on the calendar we are not going to change them. They are going to be changed before. If I say in 2018 all the company cars will be changed, it means that everything takes place during this year. But when I say by that year, it means earlier than that. Maybe this year, maybe next year, but any time between now and 2018. Okay, so we use by just to say on this time. I used by before a expression of time to say that this action, my action, my verb is going to take place just before or a bit earlier than that and but not later than that. We might replace in, at or on by by and that, that adds this extra uh, meaning to our sentence. That's why we have by in your sentence. I hope this has been helpful and you've got it now uh, but if it is not clear, if you've got more examples, if you have you've seen something different, anything like that, let me know comment by commenting it below the video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye!